this is Dan with StarReviews.com, and today we're going to review the As Seen on TV product, the MXZ Pocket Saw. Now, we've all seen the infomercial with the MXZ Pocket Saw. It can saw through virtually anything, and that's because it uses this tungsten carbide edge, which never goes dull and never needs sharpening. So it's not sharp enough to cut your fingers, as you can see there, but it's sharp enough to cut through things like wood, metal, glass, and even ceramic floor tile. So we're going to go ahead and put this MXZ pocket saw to the test and stack and see how it stacks up against the claims they make in the infomercial. Stay tuned. So for our first test, we're going to start out with a soft material. We're just going to use this 2x4 and we're going to use the MXZ saw to saw through it. Now remember, it doesn't have teeth like your typical wood saw would, but this tungsten carbide blade never needs sharpening and it's supposed to do the job. So initial impressions are, it cuts through at first with good pace, but to be honest, I think if I had a wood saw, I'd be way further ahead than I am right now. So we're going to cut this, we'll come back, I'm going to keep cutting this piece of wood, and we'll share with you our results. So we're back, I've actually been at trying to saw this for probably well over two minutes now, and as you can see, I haven't really made it to depth of the blade. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say yes, it is cutting the wood, but uh, if you're working at anything that's going to take less than a day, um, you're probably want to use something other than the MXZ saw to cut wood. For this test of the MXZ pocket saw, we're going to use it to cut this metal tubing. What this is is just basic metal uh, electrical conduit tubing that you're going to pass wires through. So the MXZ is supposed to cut through all materials. Again, we don't have teeth. It uses this carbide blade. And it's making some progress, but again, we're going to have to cut. It's definitely not making quick progress. So we'll be back, and I'm just going to keep sawing. Okay, so we're back. We have the MXZ saw in our hand. We have the metal tubing. There's probably about two minutes again of just vigorous sawing. And as you can see, I'm almost through the pipe, uh, but not all the way through. And I definitely feel as if I had a hacksaw with a nice metal blade on it, I would be long through this pipe and onto another cut for my project. So for this part of the test, the MXZ saw probably worked a little better than it did for the wood. But again, it fell a little bit short. It, it just really isn't that efficient. And I felt that the carbide blade almost caused a lot of friction on the sides of the cut, so it made it just that much harder to saw through the metal. Okay, after some of the other tests we've done with the MXZ, I may not be thinking too clearly, but I'm going to try to cut through this glass bottle. They do it in the infomercial, and they make it look extremely easy. So we're here to do this right now. So obviously here we just have a Samuel Adams bottle. To note, I didn't actually drink the alcohol. I'm using a clear head when I'm cutting this. So let's get started and see if it can cut through the bottle. Again, with this I'm trying to use some, you know, just smooth, gentle strokes as to not really jar the glass. I definitely don't want this to shatter. I'm not making much progress though. We're going to come back after I cut this and share with you our results. So we're back, sawing through this bottle, and to note, I'm not really making much progress. On the infomercial, they show you how they can use a champagne bottle that they cut the head off of, and uh, they use that to make a flower vase. I'm not sure I'm you know, within a couple hours of making a flower vase out of this beer bottle, and I'm going to say that the MXC saw just doesn't do too great of a job cutting through glass. For another test of the MXZ pocket saw, we have a piece of ceramic tile, and the MXZ pocket saw on its packaging as well as in the infomercial claims it can cut through tile. So we're here to put that claim to the test. Let's get started. Immediately I noticed that it does make some progress. I already have a groove in the tile. I'm going to continue cutting and we'll be back to share with you our results. As you can see, I've been sawing at this for about two minutes, 
just like the other tests, and I haven't made really any progress. There's just no way that without, you know, if I used a wet saw, I'd be through this like that. Even with a pair of towel snips, I'd be through this a lot quicker than I am with this MXE pocket saw. We'll be back. We're going to share with you our conclusions after all of our tests. Okay, you just watched us put the MXZ pocket saw to the test. And let's be honest, it failed pretty much all of our tests miserably. At first we performed our test and the MXZ saw was working just so terribly, we went back to check the infomercial to see if maybe there was a little thing called user error coming into play. Not the case. If you watch the MXZ infomercial closely, you'll see that everything that they show the MXZ pocket saw cutting through is nearly already completely cut through. They start out with an iron stake, and as you can see, as he takes his first couple strokes, the end of the stake is bending, meaning it's about to fall right off. The brick, already cut through. Overall, Starviews has to give the MXZ a rating of 0 out of 6 stars. Sure, it cuts through things, but at a rate that you'd rather probably just take your chances cutting through them with any other object you have in your house, including a kitchen knife. Be sure to check out our website, Starviews.com, to see us review other ASEAN TV products.